Hello friends, discuss aptitude dude and in this video we are going to study the basics of PNC. In my first video we have talked about the addition principle. So here we are starting with multiplication principle. The first thing which comes in our mind that why do we actually need this principle? For understanding that let's take, let's take an example. Let's say there are three places. Let's say this is my home. This someone's shop, and this is my office. There are only two roads connecting my home to the shop, and there are three roads connecting. to the office. Now my question is how many bays are there in which I can get to my office from my home. So first let's find out how many bays are there in which I can go from my home to the shop. With the help of addition principle we can write that there are only two ways for me to go from my home to the shop. Either I would be going through this way or I would be going through this way. Similarly, I have three ways to go to the office from my shop. I have applied here additional principle because we had only one work to do. But for doing that work, we had two or more ways. So I actually added all these ways to get the answer. Now we actually need to find the number of ways in which I can get to the office from my home. So here I need multiplication principle. The multiplication principle says that for getting the number of ways in which the whole job or the main job we need to multiply the number of ways in which individual subjobs can be done. So in this question our main job or our whole job was to get to the office from my home. But in this big job we had some subjobs. Our first subjob is going from home to the shop. And our second sub job is get to the getting to the office from my shop, from someone's shop. So what we need to do actually for so getting the number of ways in which I can go from my home to the office, I need to multiply the number of ways in which I can go from my home to the shop and the number of ways in which I can go from my shop to the office. So two into three. Ways. Now, I once again read the, repeat the multiplication principle. It says, for getting the number of ways in which the whole job can be done, we need to multiply the number of ways in which individual subjobs can be done. But now, let us do this question with the help of simple logical thinking. We need to find the number of paths we can have for going from my home to the office. The first path would be somewhat like this. The second path would be somewhat like this. The third path would be somewhat like this. The fourth path would be somewhat like this. And the fifth path will be somewhere like this, and sixth path will be like this. So these are the total six ways 
Yes, I can go from my home to the office. So that's all for this video. And in my further videos, in my next videos, I will be uploading the applications on multiplication principle and addition principle. So if you find the video helpful, please like and subscribe. And if you have any queries or any questions on addition and multiplication principle, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you.